I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, and was blessed to have had a colorful childhood that included playing trumpet and marching in the Mardi Gras parades annually with my brothers and sister. For me, Mardi Gras was a family and musical event, and it wasn't until I moved away from home that I learned although it had one meaning for me, other people had a very different view of the celebration, usually limited to boobs, beads, and beer on Bourbon Street. I wondered, how did they come to know what they knew or thought they knew about Mardi Gras? Were there stereotypes to Mardi Gras? The stereotypes of Mardi Gras are that it's kind of a drunken brawl or drunken party Mardi in the Gras! French Quarter. Well, the stereotypes are kind of true, but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, rampant drunkenness, bare breasts, a lot of beads. Hangovers. <laughs> Unfortunately, as we well know, what gets much more, if you will, exposure <laughs> are the work. ladies that we sometimes <laughs> see uh, exposing. <laughs> no, people would not like, act like that in their own communities, uh, but they come here, get a little liquored up, and figure it's acceptable or worse expected. And incidentally, most of those people are not even from New Orleans. The locals don't do it. There are a lot of other things that gets exposed. I'm sure it's glad they don't show that. <laughs> if you just saw clips of that in New Orleans, you think like, oh my God, it's just mayhem and Sodom and Gomorrah all the time. Girls Gone Wild was probably the 90s. Mm -hmm. And the detriment uh, from that standpoint of view was New Orleans became a destination place like Florida. Is that deviant behavior or not? And in what context? I mean, it's deviant on Royal Street, but not on Bourbon Street, for example. Uh, you think of Mardi Gras, you think of millions of people completely wasted on Bourbon Street. When you get down there, what you really see are millions of people wasted on Bourbon Street. <laughs> the national perception of what Mardi Gras is is really so different in many ways of what Mardi Gras really is. The media come in and they cover Bourbon Street and that's about 5% of the celebration. It, it, it's portrayed now in a way that's about the boobs and the beer because that's what's gonna get the clicks on the internet. To highlight one aspect of it. Because hey. th those things do exist. All, all of those, those elements to Mardi Gras are true of Mardi Gras, but it's not the whole story. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing because you see the other side of it. You see thousands of kids, you see older people, younger people, grandparents, and no, they're not doing that. Oh, my burrito on the parade. <laughs> it extends far deeper culturally and connects to people of all ages and races. And that's also what's really profound. But you, you won't know that until you go, until you experience it.